Hello, everyone, and welcome into this edition of the Sports Detective Podcast. I am your host, James Williams, and today it is Friday, so you know what that means. It is our $100 bet series. We're going to be betting $100 on the weekend of sports uh, coming up. Uh, I think this is going to be the first one I actually post on YouTube. So for any new listeners, um, I've been doing $100 bets this entire college football season, and I've only been doing college football games. I'm doing uh, I'm going to be doing two wagers on the Army Navy game here in just a minute. Um, but since we only have that game this weekend, we are going to be branching out to other sports. So before I even get into the bets, make sure you, uh, if you like the video, like what you see, subscribe, like the video, uh, leave comments, would love some feedback. So uh, you just do that to support the show. We also have an audio uh, version of the show. So just search Sports Detective Podcast on YouTube and you'll find it. Um, and basically what this gimmick is here is I take 100 real dollars or imaginary dollars it's up for you to imagine and i bet it on this upcoming weekend of sports um so the game that we are going to be talking about first here we're going to be having five separate bets here we're going to be placing twenty dollars on each one of these bets our first bet here is the army navy game one of the most historic rivalries in college football and we are going to be taking the over in this game the over right now is sitting at 27 and a half i love that now people might be listening because um, you might not realize or you might be thinking that the uh, the trend that goes with these service academy games is these teams all play the triple option. So these teams, because they all run the triple option, are best equipped to stop the triple option. The weird thing about that with these um, the Army Navy game is weirdly the um, this total of 28 or 27 and a half right now is a total where if you look at the history of this game now now keep in mind with these teams they whether it's different coaches or not they keep running the same offensive system keep getting the same type of players that total of 27 right now over the last 22 games in this rivalry has hit over 27 or excuse me yeah over 27 and a half points in 17 of the last 22 so a 17 and 5 to that specific total of this over I think Vegas has caught on to the trend that a lot of people bet the under in this game just blindly. We are taking the over in this game uh, because of that. We're fading the trends. We're fading the public. We are going over. I love this. $20 on 27 and a half on the Army-Navy game. Our other bet that we have on the Army-Navy game is the spread. So right now, sitting today, both teams are five and six, and Army is a two and a half point favorite in this game. And we are betting $20 on Army to cover that two and a half. Why are we doing that? Um, because I just think Army's a better team. If you look at Navy this entire year, they've screwed me over on a few bets. So I'm a little kind of like maybe biased in that respect. But if you look at their wins, all of their wins are against like, you know, first year head coaches or bad teams or they had an FCS win. Um, when they've actually played like teams that are like good, they had just gotten demolished. And if you look at Army right now, they're becoming one of the hotter teams in college football. They have won three games in a row right now. They beat Air Force, who was, um, they either had, Air Force either had one loss or they were undefeated at that point. Air Force won like eight, nine games this year. And Army beat them 23 to three. Then they played Holy Cross, beat them 17 to 14. Holy Cross is like a decent team. And then they had Coastal Carolina, who they beat as an underdog 28 to 21. So we're just going to keep riding the Jeff Monken Army momentum. We're going to go Army minus two and a half in that bet. All right. Since, again, as I mentioned, only one college football game, I have to drift off into some other sports here. As you guys know, I'm a big NBA fan, and we're going to be betting on the in-season tournament championship game. Right now, the Lakers are four-point favorites over the Pacers. I'm not going to mess with the... um, with the spread at all in this game, because I, I just don't, you know, you never know, it could get really close, unless, unless you like the Pacers, which I do not, is a little bit of a spoiler to this. I was originally going to have this bet be LeBron James to win the in-season tourney MVP, because if you think the Lakers are going to win, like, you actually have better odds, because right now the money line for the Lakers is like minus 190, but the in-season tournament, is it was minus 140, now it's minus 160. So we're just going to stay away from the in-season tournament thing because we want to get a little bit better odds here. So what we are going to do is we are going to bet LeBron James to score 30 or more points, and we are going to bet the Lakers to win. 
If you put that in a same game parlay, if you have your betting apps, there's a chance that they might give you a boost on this. So if you wanted to do that, uh, right now the odds on that, just with no boost or anything, is plus 174. Plus 174 for LeBron James to score 30 or more points and the Lakers to win. Why are we doing that? Well, the last two um, elimination games for the, the Lakers that LeBron James played in against the Suns and the Pelicans, LeBron got 30 points in the Phoenix game. He got 31 in, uh, against New Orleans. And if you watch the Pacers, the Pacers, they play this really fast pace. They put up a lot of points, but they also don't have any defense. Who, who on Indiana is going to guard LeBron? Who, who, who's going to guard him? If you were watching um, the, the Milwaukee game, a lot of times like Indiana was having like Aaron Neesmith on, on Giannis and, and Obi Toppin. They're just, they don't have anyone big enough um, or long enough or athletic enough to really just kind of like hang with LeBron. I think LeBron really, when, when the lights are brightest, that's when LeBron, LeBron um, shines. That's when he really brings it. I think he really wants to win this in-season tournament MVP and just the tournament in general. So. Um, we are going with the Lakers to win and LeBron to score 30 plus points. And other factor here too is people are really hyping up the Pacers. Now the Pacers just beat the two biggest contenders in the Eastern conference back-to-back games. I think they're getting a lot of smoke blown up their butts right now. Um, this is a young team, you know, look like LeBron's going to be able to dissect their defense as much as possible. Um, you do, I have a little bit of a fear with the Pacers winning this of just the Pacers just get super hot from three and shoot like 55% or something. But I don't know. I, I like the Lakers in this game because I think they are playing the best basketball that they have since the year that they won the title. They just seem like very deep. Everyone seems to know their roles. Anthony Davis is playing well. You know, you'd like him to be a little bit more consistent offensively, but he should be able to win that Miles Turner matchup. Um, if you get something out of like D'Angelo Russell and, and if Austin Reeves can keep, you know, playing as well as he's been playing over the last few weeks off the bench, you have Vanderbilt, uh, who's back. You have Rui that's back. This Lakers team is healthy. Um, they have depth. I, I just like the Lakers to win this game. And if they're going to win, LeBron's going to be, um, very valuable in this game. And again, no one can guard him. So we're going with that bet again. That is plus 174, $20 on that. All right, now we have two NFL games that we are going to bet on. We're going to bet on the Monday night game, which I'll talk about here in a second. But before we get into that, let's talk about this game. We have the Indianapolis Colts who are traveling to the Cincinnati Bengals. And right now the spread is at one and a half points. I do not care about the spread in this game. Do you know what I care about? I care about the Colts money line. Here are a few things here with the Colts right here. Right now they're currently on a four game winning streak and they're five and one on the road. So. They're really kind of getting their stuff together. Um, Gardner Minshew is playing very well. And also another thing with these two NFL bets that I'm making, I did place futures on Shane Steichen to win coach of the year. And I did, when I get to the Monday night game, I did place another future in that game. And j- just if you don't want to like bet this like game here, I'm just letting you know, like because Trevor Lawrence just got hurt. He's going to be out for a few weeks. Um, that division is all of a sudden open. And the Colts very much like I think they're basically playing like either bad quarterbacks or backup quarterbacks for like every game the rest of the year. Shane Steigen's a very good coach. And if they win that division, um, I, I bet it at like either 10 to one or 15 to one. I can't remember what I caught Shane Steigen at coach of the year at. Um, but if you're able to win the division first year with a backup quarterback, like that's insane. So another reason we're going to be betting the Colts here with the money line, it's plus 114 right now. Um, Cincinnati plays this really emotional Monday night game on the road. They are double-digit underdogs. They go to overtime, so you have a little bit of a short week heading into this game. And I read this uh, the stat here on the Action Network um, before I started recording. So teams in this situation that the Bengals are, teams that were 10-point double-digit underdogs, win a game, the next week they are 15, 26, and 1 against the spread. That's like 36%. Because of that, we are going to be riding with the Colts here. Right, right now on, on uh, FanDuel, I saw that it, like, the Colts are underdogs somehow. So I, I'm betting Colts as an underdog. Uh, money line bet, plus 114, $20 on that game. All right, let's get to Monday night. And the future I had on this game is 
I bet Tyreek Hill to win the MVP. That's not the bet that we're doing for this weekend of games, but I bet him to win MVP in a year where Mahomes is down. Um, Jalen Hurts seems kind of like beat up. There's really no quarterback that is kind of like rising to the top. There's a chance that like Dak, if he has like a five touchdown game this weekend or something and beats the Eagles that he really kind of like seizes the, uh, the pedestal of the MVP conversation. But I like Tyree kill. Why? He's a, there's five games left in the NFL season and Tyree kill is around. He's like at 1481 yards receiving. He's got like, I think it's like 12 touchdowns. Is there a world where like Tyree Kill is going to get like 2,100 yards and like 17 touchdowns and the Dolphins are the number one seed in the AFC? The AFC that we all have like uh, said is like way better than the NFC as a conference. So I bet Tyree Kill, I think I bet him at 20 to one to win MVP. It was something like that. So if you want to like, if you think what I just said makes sense, um, go ahead and cash in on that future because. Um, we are going to be doing a Tyreek Hill placed bet or based bet on this one. We are going to do another same game parlay. We are doing Tyreek Hill as an anytime touchdown scorer, which is minus 110. And we are parlaying that with him getting over 108 and a half receiving yards. Why are we betting that? Well, if you look at the Dolphins this year, and they're nine and three this year, if you look at seven of their nine wins, Tyreek Hill has hit that over mark of what we're talking about, that number that I just said. The games that he has gone under um, under that total, I think, I think like two of their losses he did, and if not all three, I didn't check the losses, but the two games that they won that he went under that total was division rivalries against New England, which was like one of the first games of the year before we realized New England sucked. If my memory is correct, too, there was like some rain and stuff going on in that game, too. It was a weird game new england still had a little bit more juice back then and then it was the other week against the jets where um he did get 102 yards and if you think that if tyree kill is going to get that many yards you also think he's going to get a touchdown uh i just the dolphins in this game they're they're like two touchdown favorites in here and you'd like to think that tyree kill is going to have like one like 50 plus yard touchdown probably a few other plays this game should be a blowout so we are going 20 dollars on tyree kill as an anytime touchdown scorer and over a hundred and eight and a half yards receiving. Um, I believe that's like plus one twenty six or something. I didn't write that down. I should have. Yes, it's plus one twenty six. I had to just double check that here real fast. So to go over the hundred dollar bets here again before we leave you, we have Navy Army Navy over twenty seven and a half. We have Army to cover two and a half points to win by two and a half points or better. Um, we have LeBron James to score 30 plus points and the Lakers to win over the Pacers on Saturday night. We have the Colts money line plus 114. We have the, um, and then we finally have Tyree kill anytime touchdown scorer parlayed with over 108 and a half yards. That is going to do it for the hundred dollar picks of this week. Thank you guys for listening. Um, Again, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're listening to a podcast, please rate, review, subscribe, leave comments, leave feedback. Um, just want all the support we can have for the show. I have done over 50 plus interviews in my few years doing this podcast, and I'm finally starting to get into the video realm of this stuff. So um, we're going to be having a, a weekend bets thing every single week um, for the foreseeable future. I'm planning on possibly doing a hundred dollar bets for each for bowl season of college football but i was going to do it for each of the power five so theoretically that's like five hundred dollars worth of bets and on five different conferences so that's a lot of action um as we are heading into bowl season as we're heading into the holiday season here uh if you get a little bit of christmas money maybe you splurge on a little bit of bets maybe i can help you guide you in a direction to maybe uh, place a few bets. I have won the last three weeks on $100 bets. So again, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for listening so much. And as always, I will see you next time.